Okay, so to set up your DV5 starter site called Initia, what you need to do is to install a blank WordPress website either on your server on your local computer or on a zip wp either way works the next thing you want to do is to install the latest version of divi 5 so you'd come over here to appearance click on themes and then you want to click here on add theme next you want to click on upload theme and then i'm going to drag and drop my divi theme over here just like that but if you want you can just click here and then navigate to where it is downloaded on your computer so next i'm going to click on install now and this now is going to install divi5 on my website next i'm going to click on activate so as you can see here divi now is activated now let's just confirm that it is installed so i'm going to open this site in a new tab and sure enough, we can see here that uh, we have the Divi logo. Now, sometimes you may get this layout like this. Don't panic. All you need to do is to refresh this and pretty much you're good to go. All right. So back over here, what we need to do next is to install a plugin called WP Vivid. Now, this plugin is very important because it allows us to install our starter site. So we're going to come over here to plugins, click on add plugin. Next, we're going to search for WP Vivid. and then click on install now. Next, we're gonna activate it. Now, remember when you purchased uh, the starter site, you had a link which has the complete file or if you're a lifetime member, I should have sent you an email with the actual link for you to upload this complete starter site. So the next thing you wanna do now is to head over now to upload. Okay, it's very important you click here and then next you wanna click on select files. So now we need to find that file that you were sent after you purchased or if you're a lifetime member, I sent you an email with this download. So you wanna click once on it and remember you need to install it as it is, okay? Don't uh, change anything here, it needs to be as it is. Click on open and then the next step now is to click over here where it says upload. So this now is going to upload this on your website. So sometimes it may take a bit of time because of, uh, I mean, our internet speeds may differ. So in my case here, it's reasonably fast, but sometimes it's a bit slow because I'm using my home network. Excellent. So now it has been uploaded. All I have to do is to click on OK. So the next step now to install our starter site is to click here on this button that says restore. So you click here once. And then you click once more again over here on restore and then you click on OK. So once you've, you've done those steps, you're going to see now a progress bar over here. Now, this one here is faster, so this shouldn't take, you know, a long time. And once all this has been uh, completed, you're now going to have a complete website. Excellent. So now when you see this login page, it means that our website has been installed correctly. So the first thing you want to do now is to refresh this page just to make sure that we have this installed. And sure enough, this is our starter site and everything looks great. So you may have noticed that uh, as soon as everything is installed, you get this login page. OK, now in your email that I've sent you after purchasing this in your welcome email, you have your username and password. So this is where you want to enter your, your username like that. And then you also want to paste your password. Now, as I mentioned, you have this in your email. OK, OK, fantastic. So now you can see we are now in our website and let's just take a quick look and see if everything looks great and uh, Sure enough, we are logged in and everything looks great. So the next thing you want to do is to, of course, change your logo. So you want to come over here to Divi and then you want to go to theme options. So at the moment, we have the uh, Sidecrafter logo. So this is where you would add your own logo. So you come over here to upload and then you click on upload files. So I think I have a logo. Uh, yes, sure enough, I have a logo here. I'm going to double click on that. Okay, so that's my logo. I'm going to set it as my logo. Save changes. 
So every now and again, if you don't see any changes applying, you want to make sure you clear the uh, you clear the uh, the cache. Okay. You also have a caching plugin, so you want to come over here as well and purge all cache, just in case sometimes things may not um, appear correct. Mm -hmm. So now, if I refresh this. We can see we have our logo, okay? We also have it on the bottom here. So as you can see here, the logo may be a bit too big. So to customize the logo, this is what you need to do. You need to head over here to Theme Builder. Next, you wanna come over here to your global header. Now you want to click on um, your menu settings, go to design, logo, and this is where your logo sizing is. Okay, so right now it's set to 220. So you can just uh, adjust this until you are happy with the size. So I'm gonna go with uh, maybe 138. Click on save. So each logo is going to be different. So you wanna make sure you go in and uh, make that major adjustment, okay? So once you're done with that, you click on save. You go to exit and save all changes. Next, we have these uh, footer links. So this is where, in fact, first of all, you want to choose between this footer here, which is the light version, and also the dark version. So I want to continue on with the um, with the uh, dark version. So first of all, I'm going to reduce the size of my logo here. So I'm going to click on module settings. I'm going to go to design, image and icon. And for my uh, width here, it's 80%. We are going to reduce it a little bit to about say 36. So this is the size of my logo that I prefer. I'm gonna hit save. Now at any point, if you want to go in and uh, perhaps maybe adjust your links here for your social media, you click here on this module, and then you come over here on this little icon, you go to link, and this is where you add your Facebook link. And this applies to all the other social media links. And once you're done, you click on save. Next, you also want to uh, come over here to your links so these links here you can change this to whatever you want and if you want to update the uh, links you can just highlight the text like that and then you want to come over here on this little uh, chain icon okay so you click on that and this is where you add your link so once you're done with all these links here you're pretty much good to go you click on save and then you hit exit. Now, before I hit exit, do you see this uh, website description here? Now that is updated when you come over here. Let me just click on exit here so I can show you where it is. Now make sure you click on save all settings. So for that description of uh, your uh, website, you come over here to settings, you click on general, and this is where you change it, okay? So this is your tagline. That is what updates everything on this footer, which is right here, okay? That's where you update it. Next, you also want to change your administ uh, administration email address. Okay, so mine, it's set here to Mac at Creative Astro. Now you need to change this to your email address. So make sure you go in and update this. Now, once that's done, you scroll all the way down and then click on save changes. All right, so now that we're done with that, the next step now is to head over to our page. So I'm going to now go on to my main page right here. So what I want to do, let's, let's refresh this first. Okay, so now my size has been updated. So what I want to do is to adjust my colors for my website. So at this moment, you'll notice that we have uh, set two colors. So let's click on edit with Divi. So the first thing you want to do here is to head over to your variable manager. So once you click on that, you go onto your colors. So my primary color here is set to this color right here. And my secondary color is set to this color right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go quickly and change these colors. But before I do that, what I want to do is to just show you where this color applies. And then you're going to notice that it applies across the whole website. So at the moment, you can see this button here. You can see these links here. This is my uh, secondary color and uh, my 404 page. Oh, in fact, I can go to my blog here. You'll notice that we have this color right here for my blog. So let's go ahead and change our main branding color. So I want to come over here and I'm going to change this to, what should we go with? Let's go with, okay, let's go with a very dark blue. Okay, so we're going to go with that as our main primary color, okay? 
So once I have this set, I'm just gonna close that. And then my secondary color is also going to change. And uh, for my secondary color, I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna add this color right here. And you can see it's updating over here. Okay, so that's going to be my secondary color. Now take note of these two colors. So once we're done with that, all you need to do is to hit save, apply changes. And then when I come over here to my site and refresh, you're going to notice that it will have changed. You see that it has changed. If I go to my footer links, they're also changed. And uh, even if I go to my 404 page, it has changed as well. So pretty much across the whole website, everything has been updated. Okay, the next thing I need to do, and obviously my button here has been updated as well. This is my secondary color, okay? So the next thing I wanna do now is to add my fonts. Okay, so I'm gonna close out of here and then I'm gonna go back in. So for my fonts here, you can see we have pop-ins here. We also have enter for our body. So this is where I can go in and say, maybe for my body, I want pop-ins like that. Save that. And for my headings, I'm going to have enter. We're going to save that, apply changes. And then let's go ahead and save this. So now we can refresh our page and we can see that it has been updated. So I can see here that this is enter and this is poppins. Okay, so everything is all set for us. If I go to my blog here and I click on my blog posts, we can see everything has been updated and everything is looking great. My colors here look fantastic and my branding has been applied across the whole website. Okay, so if you want to add, let's say a new page or a blog post, I mean, you can go ahead and do that. It is very, very straightforward. I'm gonna hit exit here and we're gonna come over here to our dashboard and then we're going to go to our posts so to add a new post you would come over here you know add a new post and by the way this is very very important i forgot to mention this so let's call this post three okay so for your posts you don't have to or you actually you don't uh, use the Divi Builder here, you use your default editor, okay? It's very, very important that you choose the default editor. Now, we can go to Lorem 2, and let's just copy some dummy text here. And then back over here on our post, this is where we're going to paste our post and our post content, okay? So what we can also do here is if you want to add a title or a heading, you can just highlight it like that. And we click here on this plus button and then we choose our heading and paste our heading like that. And if you want to add an image anywhere in this design, again, you would click on this plus button and then we look for our image here, media library, and let's use, in fact, let's upload an image. Okay, how about that? So we're gonna hit select and we're going to use this image right here. Click on upload. And now my image has been added. So what I'm also going to do next is to add a featured image. So I'm gonna come over here to post, choose my category. In fact, let's go with category B this time. And then uh, we're gonna choose our featured image. I'm gonna come over here, set my featured image like that. Now I'm gonna hit publish. Great, so now if I hit view post, notice what happens. We now have this layout and everything is set for us. We have our title here, we have our description text, and everything looks fantastic. Okay, so you're going to have a consistent layout here, and just remember that this is your starting point, so you can go in and then further customize this whenever you want, but this will help you create a website really, really fast. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and I'm gonna show you a few things. So we have installed plugins in here, so I'm gonna click on installed plugins. Now, this list of plugins are very, very important. These are tried and tested. I've used this many, many, many times. So we have anti-spam B. So if you're running a blog, like in this case, if you activate it, you're going to need anti-spam B to reduce spam to your website. Fluent Forms is fantastic for your form builder. 
It also has automations. It also has, I mean, it's, it's full of features. I've got tutorials showing you uh, how powerful this is. Fluent Auth is our plugin for our security. Fluent CRM, this will automate our email marketing processes. Independent Analytics, this is our analytics plugin. Lightspeed Cache, this will improve the speed of your website. Now, finally, we have WP Vivid. Now, since we've installed our website and everything is working fine, we can go ahead and deactivate it and we can go ahead and delete it, okay? We don't need it anymore. All right, so pretty much that's about it. Now, the final page I need to talk to you about is our dashboard. So I'm gonna come over here to all pages. Now, this dashboard is very important because if you're designing websites for your clients, um, this is a very good page, which after they log in, they'll be redirected to this actual page. And it looks like this. So this dashboard here, you can go in and customize it by clicking here on edit with Divi. So where it says, welcome to your dashboard, you can change that. You can change the description text here. And also you can update these links if you want to. Over here, we have our useful links. Again, you can go in and um, update these as you want. You can just go into the editor here and, you know, make your customizations. Now, this form is important because this form is uh, used if they want to get in touch with you and if there's something wrong with your website, okay? So these links here are really cool because let's do a quick preview so I can show you. So if your client wants to add a brand new website, they can just click over here and then it takes them straight to uh, creating a website. It also uh, does that with the blog posts, with the media, and so on. So in a nutshell, this is how you set up Initia, the DV5 starter site. If you have any uh, issues or any problems, please drop me an email. And like I said, you're automatically um, included in our community. So you can share ideas and you know your designs in there as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.